the internet rises, Batman has to escape the pit. In order for him to do so, he needs to be healthy. In order for him to be healthy, he needs to have access to six essential nutrients that we have displayed here. The first one, water, is used to maintain or used to maintain homeostasis within the body, and it does so by maintaining the pH balance within the blood as well as the electrolyte concentration within and outside of the cell. We also have carbohydrates, and carbohydrates are a main form of energy within the body, used from going to your brain when you want to think to going to your foot when you want to move it. Uh, we also have proteins. Uh, proteins are involved with muscle. Um, they're involved in the actual muscle itself, as well as repairing it when, it when it's damaged and needs to be built back up. In addition, we have lipids, also known as fat. Fat are a, a long-term uh, energy source used and access to when carbohydrates are low. Um, also, we have vitamins. Um, vitamins are used in a wide variety of um, functions within the body. Um, ranges from vitamin K, which is blood clotting, to vitamin D, which is involved in bone density. Lastly, we have electrolytes. And the three most important electrolytes that Batman, Bruce Wayne, may not have access to are calcium, sodium, and potassium, which are all involved in firing neurons, essentially allowing the body to move. So now, we're going to show you a clip of Bruce Wayne successfully escaping the pit. In the video, Batman was able to climb out of the pit. However, we believe that Batman wouldn't be able to do so. We think of this because Batman was deprived of nutrients and he would be in a catabolic state, desperate for energy. Batman's main source of energy is glucose, which comes from glycogen, the storage polymer. When this storage is broken down within the first couple of days, Batman needs to turn to another source of energy, his fats. His fats are broken down through the process of lipolysis. And this provides energy to all sources of the body, especially the brain, through ketone bodies. Another source of energy comes from his amino acids. His amino acids come from his proteins, especially those in his muscles, which affects his protein levels. Also affecting his protein levels is the nature of his injury. Having a broken back would severely disable Batman and decrease his activity. Decreasing his activity decreases the stress that's put on his muscles, which decreases his muscle mass because his body will use his proteins for other sources of energy because he doesn't need his, pro his proteins anymore. Overall, by affecting his protein levels, Batman will lose the function in his muscles and lose his strength. This is why we believe that Batman wouldn't be able to climb out of the pit, because he wouldn't have the strength to do so. And probably in real life, he would still be there today.